Hello everyone, uh, this is what we're going to do today, so let's take a look. Tree bark and then uh, this cute green caterpillar is crawling. Okay. So uh, today we're going to use the uh, Asset Warp tool in Anime CC. So let's get started. Okay, so um, uh, first to download the images from the description. I made a link to the uh, two different images. One is caterpillar and another one is tree bark. So um, uh, the new file, 640 by 480, 24 uh, frame rate, and the platform type, it really doesn't matter. Either one's fine. HTML5 or ActionScript 3.0 uh, depends on what you, uh, what you need. Uh, maybe today we're just going to use the ActionScript 3.0 because um, it takes faster for rendering. So um, let's create it. Okay, so first, uh, please import the images. Uh, since I opened the ActionScript 3.0, I'm going to open my Finder. And let me drag uh, caterpillar and tree bark at the same time. Those two things. Okay, so we have these two. Okay, so first I'm going to make that um, animation of this uh, caterpillar uh, as a movie clip symbol. So go to insert menu, new symbol and movie clip make sure the type is a movie clip symbol and the name i will name it as crawling oh something's missing crawling okay then place your caterpillar.png this is the transparent png file it's too big i'm gonna make it smaller about this size let me check the size. Um, I would say 180. Okay. And 0 by 0. Okay, so this is the size. So, uh, Animate CC is a set work tool. What you can do is you can click to add puppet handles to your vector graphics or imported bitmap images like this one. And then I will show you how to bring your imported bitmap images to life uh, with this. Okay. Um, so first, uh, in your toolbar, toolbox, please choose this, a set work tool. Or hit the W. Okay. And you're going to see this. Let me zoom in a little bit. You're going to see this kind of a push pins uh, icon. So this uh, work tool is kind of a similar to a puppet tool uh, in Photoshop. So what I'm going to do is, let me click here, one. Now you can see that kind of a wireframe meshes, meaning now you can make some changes. Two, three, four, five, six and seven okay so each handles uh, each handle is a kind of point where you can make some changes you can distort it you can change the location so what I'm gonna do is on frame number 15 highlight it insert the keyframe now on here let me insert another keyframe on frame number 30 okay and then on frame number 15 in here, I'm going to move this up, these two points up. You can make it closer. You can make some changes. Move this down a little bit. Down this one a little bit. I'm going to move this one as well. And the tail. And you go here. Okay. And the head a little bit closer. Little up. 
Okay. Okay, it's not too bad. Now, select any frame between 1 and 15. Now, go to Insert menu and create Classic Twin. That's it. See? It's working like this. Now, second, uh, choose any frame between 15 and 30. Same way, insert, create classic twin. Okay, so it is playing like this. Okay, it's not too bad. Now go back to main stage. I'm going to have my crawling movie clip symbol uh, somewhere out of my stage, right here. Okay, now go to Insert menu, create Classic Twin, and then since this creature is crawling very, very slowly, I'm going to assign about, well, 15 seconds, and insert the keyframe, and then move this guy to the opposite direction. And when you play it, it will just look like this. But once you test the movie, on the control, test the movie, it will play your animation as well. So it's not too bad. OK. OK. So now what I'm going to do is, uh, let me select all of this. Copy. Come and see. And let me uh, make a new file. I'm not going to change any, anything. 640 by 480, 24 Action Script 3.0. Create it. Let me paste it to my library. So I have all these three including this the uh, crawling uh, movie clip symbol. It is already here. Okay, now back to main stage. Um, bottom layer, I'm going to have my um, tree bark. So a tree bark. Uh, let me have that um, here. And on zero point, zero by zero in your properties panel and then new layer it's going to be crawling layer crawling i don't know my reading crawling crawl okay <laughs> sorry okay then let me have my um, uh, crawling caterpillar here and i'm going to Rotate it and make it a little bit smaller, not too small, about that size. And I'm going to place it out of my stage here. Okay, it's almost done. Now, highlight the first keyframe of your crawling layer. Then go to Insert menu, create Classic Twin, and then I'm going to assign maybe 15 seconds. So this guy is moving so slowly. Insert a keyframe. And then move this guy all the way up, out of stage. And then down the bottom layer, I'm going to need to have my tree bark images. So just insert the keyframe, doesn't matter. Now it is done. Let me test the movie. On the control, test the movie in animate. Okay. So this guy is crawling up this tree. 
it's not super the uh, realistic, but uh, it's okay. So um, um, you can animate kind of simple characters uh, you create from Illustrator or Photoshop, and then uh, you can uh, add kind of a handler, uh, puppet handle point, and then uh, we can move it here and there. Uh, yeah, so uh, it's kind of easy and quick, uh, simple ways to make uh, animation. Okay, thanks for watching, and see you next time.